हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल विद एन अदर वीडियो ऑन एच डॉट टू सिक्स डी वी आर पार्ट टू विद द नेटवर्क सेटअप एज यू नो द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई ऑलरेडी शो यू द हाउ यू कैन इंस्टॉल द सी सी टी वी इन यूर डी वी आर एंड देन नाउ वी आर शोइंग यू द नेटवर्क सेटअप ऑफ द डी वी आर लोकल डी वी आर वी आर कॉलिंग देन द मॉडल नंबर इज एच टू सिक्स फोर नॉर्मली द चाइना डी वी आर इट कम्स विद द नेम एच टू सिक्स फोर एंड देन पीपल पुट द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट ब्रांड नेम बट द बेसिकली द नेम इज एच टू सिक्स फोर वी आर कॉलिंग और एक्स एम आई डी वी आर और वी आर कॉलिंग द एक्स एम आई डी वी आर so how we can do the network setup and then how we can remotely view on the pc so full setup i will guide you you have to watch carefully step by step so you can learn and then you can remotely view uh, your dvr by pc or in your phone so first of all we log in our uh, dvr so right click on our mouse and then click the main menu and then put our password normally h264 uh, uh, don't have any password just admin and then okay no password and then again right click main menu now here is the options recording alarm system advanced information and then log out so we have to click the system option and then here you can find out the uh, network and net service so first of all if you want to check our uh, net is connected or no as you can see i already plug in my uh, net ethernet cable in this uh, dvr so you just check if there is plugged or no you can see here the its cloud is not uh, enabled and then the wifi if you are dvr supported the wifi it's not connected and then wireless configuration also don't have uh, all the settings is still don't have so we have to click the network setting and then because we connected the uh, dsl cable ethernet cable in our dvr so we just remain the this one and then uh, we just remain the wireless uh, net card and then you have to check the ip address if you want to change uh, this ip address you can simply change but i uh, remain that ip address because it's not a effect in my modem or other uh, things because if there is the, in your modem uh, same ip you have to change this ip but this ip address is not affecting my dvr so i just remain that one and then i click the dhcp enable i just click that one and after enabling the dhcp you can see here the our ip address is automatically detect uh, by our network and then we click okay so you have to just press the dhcp server uh, enable and then after that if you uh, check status click the information and then click the version you can see here the our net status is connected and then here is the our serial number so i am hiding my serial number because no one can use my dvr remotely so i just uh, click okay cancel and then if we click the system and then click the net service here you can see also the cloud is connected so our dvr is already linked with the network and then if you want to remotely view your dvr you have to note out the two things so first thing is you note this first ip address note out this one and then if you don't want to write the ip address don't want to use the ip address you have to uh, go back and then click information and then click the version and then you have to note out the serial number of this dvr you have to note out this serial number because in future we are going to remotely view to add our device by using the serial number or using our ip address so we just uh, cancel this one cancel and then now we find out the remote view how we can remotely access this dvr uh, with our pc if we go our pc we have to write in the google xmi for pc if my camera can show you because i'm using the camera i'm not uh, going to record my screen so i just show you the demonstration xmi for pc and then first official link you have to click that one and then here you find out the software if you are using the mac or windows you click the uh, option you are depend on your operating system so i uh, i am going to download this software xmi vms software for windows so i have already installed in my pc i just show you here vms so i click to open and then give permission yes 
so here is the software already opened so we have to add our dvr here so i just click the device manager and then if you want to search by ipv or ipv6 uh, you can simply search or cloud add but i am going to manually add because i remove first this one because i want to show you the full demonstration so bottom you just find here the option manual aid add group remove backup and then import so i just click the manual aid and then here is the option you choose any device name so i'm just uh, uh, writing here the device name and then choose here option you can see here there is many option ip domain cloud and then ipv6 if you are if you are using the serial number you have to select the cloud id and then here you add the serial number if you are using the ip address you just select the ip address and then add here ip address so i'm using the ip address to configure my dvr so i just uh, write here the ip address of dvr and then after that here the protocol is xmi so i just uh, remain the xmi not hk or dh or on uh, vif so i just xmi and then save and continue once you click the continue you can see here the status is connected and then here is the record status and then the all uh, data here is connected now we click the home button and then click the camera here is the camera all showing here the eight uh, camera dvr is uh, our uh, working here so i just uh, if i add i just double click our camera is showing you here you can see and then if my second camera i right click you can see here the both camera is i remotely access here is the dvr uh, output and then here is the desktop so here is the pc showing my dvr here online if you want to watch the remote view on the mobile phone you have to write in the comment below so next video i will do on the uh, mobile phone access because i don't want to, my video is going to long and then no one will watch so that's why i am showing you only for the pc so next video i will show you how to use or access your camera uh, h264 dvr in your mobile phone so, but the same procedure you have to follow the serial number and then the ip address in xmi software in the play store or then you have to add the same uh, this procedure so hope this video is going to helpful for you if you like this video don't forget thumbs up please subscribe my channel press the bell icon for the new update so let's see you in the next video with the new tips new tricks thank you